All right, today we're going to be looking at a landing page that I have created. It's a little bit more of an elevated landing page. It's not your usual marketer style bland kind of thing. It has GSAP elements, of course. You can even add more to it. Of course, it's not fully mobile optimized, but it's almost there so you can get the json file in the description below if you want to work on it and, or get some things from it if you like something that you want to add to another landing page so we are going to be focusing on landing pages because these are very important for marketers service providers small and medium businesses for lead generation of course as well and event organizers so if you have a small business and you do not need an extensive website, a landing page is more than enough. I also consider a one pager website a landing page in a sense because your sole purpose is or goal is achieving either lead generation as i said earlier raising awareness for your cause etc etc so let's get into it let's have a look to see how this was built and my thought process around it so let's get into it all right so this landing page was built fully only with elementor yeah i have not used any other plugins i rarely use any plugins other than elementor and if i use something is either an lms for example or something that i really 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 cannot achieve with elementor or some code snippets okay and you know that i use code snippets more than other things let's go one by one okay so we have at the top of the page at the hero section which is one of the most important parts of a landing page let's say because this is the part that captivates your attention okay we have our images so this landing page is for a service provider for example an interior designer who wants to capture leads right they want to showcase as well their services and their work and also capture leads so at the top as i said we have a container and at the, in this container i have added a media carousel okay and you know this effect uh, as you scroll the page the carousel moves by itself you don't have to move it yourself to see the images it's quite a nice effect if you want to highlight some striking images videos something that you want to draw attention to because as this moves of course naturally you are drawn to it right anything that moves draws your attention all right so that is that you can also let's just have a look on the website so you can also drag it just like this to see what images there are in here you can add as many images as you want to make it uh, full of images so let's uh, go further okay so we have the images on the hero section right above the fold and then we have the message so it's very important to draw your uh, the attention towards your message on the hero section so here we are thinking okay we have to explain in a few words what we are doing what this website is about because imagine let's say yes people find you through google because they searched for an interior designer and they already know what they are looking for but if you are running a marketing campaign to your landing page for example running some ads people not they don't necessarily know what this website is about right i mean your ad would appear uh, random i guess whatever and they need to know when they <laughs> land on your website what it's about anyway i think you understand what i mean okay so i say here design that elevates your space experience okay uh maybe it can be rewritten in a sense and in a way that makes more uh, more of an impact i'm not a copywriter but and this was just a test uh, but i think it makes sense and then we say interior styling full service interior design interior design concept and furnishing support and this also makes sense it, it does tell you what it is about and i forgot to mention at the top we do have a heading okay let me just have a look and you know this already yeah as you click on it you get a 
the most important uh, sections, let's say, okay, they are not connected to the sections on the website, but can be connected. And this is made with GSAP fully, okay? Of course, <laughs> with Elementor as well, obviously. I think it's quite striking and I love it. And it's simple and to the point. So you have your menu, you have your call to action, social media buttons, and that's it. That's all you need. Unless you want to add something else, I don't know, whatever you would want to add, okay? And then we have our big, big logo here, a message or um, kind of a call to action to scroll down, okay? Because I, we want people to go further to see more about us. And then they reach this section, and this section is kind of a previous showcase of our work, which is very important. And again, this is made with uh, GSAP. It's fully GSAP, no other plugin. Okay, and I, if you know, you have seen this on my channel before. Uh, this was a dedicated video. Okay, and this is a very nice way of integrating some testimonials where you make people understand that your services are highly regarded by other clients and of course a testimonial a good testimonial can bring more clients to you and then that's that's it in terms of a preview of what you can do as an interior designer okay this i forgot to change it here but this could be a little bit more in depth of what you are doing what you're specialized in and so on and so forth okay this doesn't really make sense but i think uh, you could add something here as well and then meet the founders so let's say uh, there are three female founders that are that own this studio and a little bit about them would be very cool to have and to know because it's very cool to who's behind the brand right and i think that helps a lot as well yes the landing page with your services is very cool but Nowadays, I think people crave connection with others and this way you can connect to your clients, in my opinion. I don't know. I like to, I like to see uh, real people on websites and their story, of course. Anyway, and then we go to our services, which is very important. Of course, we have a little blurb here about our services. Can be more, can be less, can be nothing if you want. And then we have very clear point of interaction with our services okay very simple very to the point as i said and then if you want to find out more about a service you can find out more click on find out more and you need to scroll to read but this is a very cool uh, way of adding this without creating too much clutter visual clutter so yes okay we see the services but we don't need to read right away unless we're really interested in the service that needs or we were we are in, interested in right so then you just click to find out more if you are really interested in the service and yeah and then we have our work and this would be clickable but in this case i didn't make it clickable this can be a little bit more elevated you could add something like yeah look grid i think would work best and have your images with the name of the project underneath but since i do not i did not want to go into creating acf uh, fields and all that i think uh, this can be done by yourself and yes this section needs a little bit mo more thought and more work but it's something that is very specific and then we have our sort of call to action kind of grabbing the leads here so you're asking people to if they want to join you and uh, they want they're more in, they're interested in more information about your services or they want they have a project in mind that they want to work with uh, you on then you can just send them a message and that's it it doesn't need to be more than that most of the time less is more and i fully agree on that with that here you can add even more testimonials if you you want you can uh, alternate between a, a, an image of your work and a, a testimonial if you really want to do that and yeah i mean it cannot get easier than this okay let's go back in the elementor editor so 
the section was built as i said with just widgets from elementor nothing else i you i'm using the heading widget for um most of the text because i prefer it i feel like it's a little bit more versatile i would say and then here with well, the section we just have containers and nothing else so basically the containers have the background be the image yes and of course we have some code i'm gonna go to the code in a bit but yeah and as i said as you can see the heading is a, a heading widget uh, here i used the text editor not necessarily a specific reason why i uh, used it <laughs> but yeah so you can alternate between either a te the text editor widget or the heading widget and yeah i'm just clicking on things to show you that i have not used anything crazy to build this but for example here i used an accordion and let me just open the accordion so we have the heading here yeah and then we have the accordion item one which is our heading yeah and the button the call to action here and that's it and then if you go to let's go to advanced go to motion effects actually i think it's yeah on the container i have added this motion effect but anyway, you, I will have this downloadable so you can check it out and you can see what and how I built some things. I don't want to get too deep into it, but yeah. And I think it has a very cool effect, honestly. All right. So here in this container, I have just added images. Yeah, of course, this can be uh, done better and it should be a little bit more extensive or extensive as you want. And yeah, we have then the elemental form here and that's it. <laughs> Nothing else. Um, let's go a little bit to the code. As you can see, it's a, there is a little bit of code here, not too much. We kept it clean. Yeah. Um, you can um, delete all this i will actually delete them for you here publish so everything is done for you you just need to change colors and imagery and maybe uh try to do the uh, work section the way you wanted to do it as i said there are many ways you can achieve this but yeah i hope this was good and interesting and I will try to do more of this and I will try to plan uh, in the new year to plan more of this and a little bit more in depth and maybe every quarter, let's say, because these take time to put together. Yeah. So say once I have more effects done with GSA, for example, or something like that, I will put them all together and mash them up nicely in a website or planning page or one page or website whatever you want to call it and have it downloadable so i hope you enjoyed this let me know what you think this was just a test to see if this is something that you guys would like to see more of and and if i don't see you in another video merry christmas and i'll see you next year if you'd like to see what else you can build with elementor watch this playlist here or here and if you have gotten any value out of this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and i'll see you next time bye